we welcome you to the Ogono Art Family. Thanks for tuning in. Today's topic is going to be about self-promotion. Now, self-promotion has a, a bad rep to it. I personally don't feel there's a bad rep to self-promotion. It depends on how you're self-promoting yourself and how you're introducing yourself to other people. And so people tend to mistake shameless plugging for self-promotion. And so what shameless plugging is, is the act of, you know, having a bad segue made to distract people from the topic at hand, to switch the, the topic that's being discussed into a topic of, you know, your own promotion, which is a bad segue. So uh, an example of this would be people that go to other people's, uh, YouTube channels, YouTube videos, and then promote their own work on the person's creative content. And so the artist or the content creator made the choice to spread themselves out there on YouTube or, you know, DeviantArt or any other platform. And then you have somebody uh, doing the shameless plug, removing the attention from your artwork that you in and just diving in, diving and directing the attention onto something else. That's when it comes. That's when the the negativity of the of the shameless plug plugging thing begins. And so the the shameless plug self promotion is the type of style that you want to stay away from or stray away from. And it has and it really depends on the situation. It has been done before. You know, I've seen it done in, in like live streams in like comedic ways that the you know like even the content creator enjoyed it. So it really depends on the situation. But uh, generally, the shameless plug is not uh, recommended. And now, if you were to look at the act of self-promotion in itself, not the shameless plug style when you're stealing attention from other content creators. And so the act of self-promotion is just getting yourself out there uh rather through pming people or messaging them and now it depends on how you're introducing yourself to these people you know some people do the the self-promotion as you know just check out they their their message their text seems very robotic you know they just say just check out my comic or so or so check this out check out my, my site uh check out my my instagram or so you know there's no introduction or anything like that it's like coming up to a random person in real life and just saying oh check out my instagram and they don't really know you like that first you have to introduce yourself in within the self-promotion you know make it short and sweet you know and you know make this uh self-promotion make this a genuine con conversation as if you were ha you were having this uh conversation uh, to a friend or so and so just be like greetings or what's up i'm marcus or so check this out if you're interested you know if you're interested not being so controlling in the uh, in the engagement and if you were to self-promote you have to think to yourself how will this promotion how will this how will this benefit the other person and so on deviantart i had someone self-promote their webcomic hosting site on the uh, on my message on my messages and i was you know intrigued by it actually the way she introduced herself to me was you know it was really genuine and not only what that her introduction was genuine her rep though i know i now know an extra webcomic hosting site and what made this uh special was that this webcomic hosting site provides language translations so this made me think to myself okay maybe my family can start to read my comic now that's down in Haiti or so just due to the language translations and you know I later I later you know thanked her because I would I would have never known about a site like that if she hadn't uh, introduced me to <clears throat> um that webcomic Golson site and so at the end of the day her self-promotion benefited me and I do this as well when I message people to come join up on the DeviantArt group so they could get featured or share your artwork with other members on the DeviantArt Art group. And rather they would like to join or not, it's nothing to take personally. And so if let's say that, you know, you have a reader, people like this this, this guy that likes to read comics, you know, you're just introducing yourself saying, Oh, check out my uh, comic if you're interested, you know? 
and he's a reader he likes to read comics you know he or she is a reader that and it will help fill in the gap the gap of okay that's extra content i can consume you know and if they are interested in the content it's nothing there's nothing to take personally and so likewise for if you know there was someone on reddit that's you know depressed you know and you have a you had a you made a video about depression oh this is a video about my experience as you know someone who's been depressed and i i think this would help you as well you know and this is coming from a genuine um, place of self-promotion nothing negative it's similar to like a friend or filling in the gap for what the friend needs and consider subscribing to the family so you can hit that and don't forget to uh, hit the, the red bell button for to get notified for when I upload every Saturday. So when you click that, you'll see this. You can click the chat box to send the notifications for you and then just save it. I also provide you guys a Discord or a place to chat. My Discord will be available in the link down below. I provide references, you know, for anyone that want to, you know, look into it. You know, so I have references for, you know, ears, breasts, you know, front torso, back torso, etc. And including hands as well. And this is where you can, you know, just chat with a family and you can share your artwork here, etc. That's just the basis of the Discord. Check it out, whatnot. And that'll be the video. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.